you know exactly what time it is, but I'll tell you what it is. It's time for Live at Five. I'm certainly glad to have you here with me today as we get into these five great questions that I have received from you. Don't know exactly, I don't know everybody who has sent these questions in, but I know a couple people and I want to just thank you again for sending these questions in. I'm answering your question today uh, and I'll be answering other questions again next week because we've got a few other questions that have just came in uh, just today concerning uh, Live at Five. But let's take a look at what we have here today. Um, I'm going to give you, what is it? let's look at question number one. Again, I try to lump these in. Uh, there is a, a kind of a theme, a thread that you'll, that you'll see. Don't hesitate to uh, share. Make sure that, um, you know, and, and any comments that you may have. I certainly like to look at the comments. I don't always, you know, comment back, but I certainly want to let you know now. I appreciate your comments. You know, I just don't want it for, for various reasons. I don't want to really get into making, you know, to commenting, but I want to thank you for what you have written, but I want to make sure there's a free forum for you to write and comment whatever you want. And, we, you know, we're, we're not going to go back and forth if you disagree or anything like that, but I appreciate your comments, whether you like it, whether you don't, you know, whatever you think it's great, you think it's trash, whatever you think, I like the idea that you're commenting. I want you to participate. But listen, uh, I want you to take a look at question number one with me, and we're going to see if we can help together um, answer some of these questions. I'm going to give them to you, and I'm going to be uh, hoping that you're praying with me. I'm a Christian. I've been baptized for 30 years. My son is displaying a personality disorder and has been diagnosed with acute depression. I have prayed and brought him to my church, but he is not healed. Why doesn't God heal him? Well, here's the thing. Well, let me give you a quick answer to that. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you know, healing is not something that's based on our desire. It's based upon the grace of mercy, and also the plan and will of God. That's really important. You know, we pray for what we what we desire. We believe that, that God is able to do what we have asked him to do. But, you know, and those really in some ways are probably the easiest parts. The most difficult is that we have to wait on the Lord. And I'll tell you why. We don't know what God's will is for our lives tomorrow, today, at this very moment. You know, we, we don't know how to pray as we ought. And we can think we know the will of God, but we do not know the will of God. And oftentimes what you'll find is his will is not like our will. Deliverance here, and you know, you said you brought your son to your church. I'm assuming you brought him to the altar. You may have had people pray for him and lay hands on him. But I want you to understand something. Deliverance here can be difficult to really understand because we get so used to seeing the instantaneous healing. Those are the things that get the big play. Biblically, healing is not always instantaneous. Healing is a process. We not only find that in the Bible, but we find that in our in our lives, that healing is not always right away, that it sometimes can take a year, sometimes can take years for what God plans to happen at the time he plans it to happen and will happen at the right time. It just simply may not be in our time. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to stay persistent in your prayer. Do not hesitate. Don't get weary in well-doing. Continue to pray. Why? Because mental illness comes in various types. It has a variety of contributing factors, uh, you know, and so a multi-layered approach and a multi-layered treatment oftentimes is what's needed uh, it, to heal uh, a person who's suffering with mental illness because there's multiple contributing factors. You know, it's not always some sin that's there. It's not always be some, for some demonic activity. It could be a hormonal imbalance. It could be something that's physical. There are things that happen because people, you may have a tumor, you know, in their brain. I'm, I'm, I'm praying that that's obviously not your son. But what we don't want to do is assume that deliverance will only come one way. Listen, God has blessed us with multiple tools to deal with things that are mental, emotional, physical, in every areas of our, our, our lives. And sometimes it's going to be medicine. Sometimes it'll be therapy and, and various types of treatment. Hello? Okay. Thanks. I'll put it on now. 